Okay, so this is gonna be the walk around for my 97 Forerunner. Uh, as you can see, I got it pretty decked out with some stuff, I guess. Um, the, uh, well, starting at the top, I guess, we got the uh, the Yakima roof rack uh, that attaches to factory rails. We got the, uh, the Safari snorkel uh, over on the other side, which we'll hit in a second. Uh, the front, you can see the, the Tacoma bar that I ended up uh, putting up, putting on the, uh, on the forerunner, and then in there I've got a uh, warm, a uh, worn uh, M8000 winch. Uh, the control is in the uh, is in the uh, uh, back pocket of the seat um, in the cab. Anyway, uh, moving down, I've got the FZJ80 wheels, which I really like. I paint I painted the center caps and actually clear coated them. I think they turned out really good. They were a little flaky and, and a little rough. Sorry, I just finished washing it, so there are wet spots on the tires and uh, and dripping all over the place. Uh, you can see the uh, the rock rails I put on. They need a little a little love, I guess. I need to put another coat of uh, flat black on them, uh, so I'll spray that uh, spray that on probably this weekend. Uh, let's see if we walk around the back side. Yeah, it's all stock. Uh, I got a couple uh, dings on on each corner of the bumper. Uh, from doing a little off-roading. I think I got most of that at uh, Hole in the Rock Trail. Uh, you can see the uh, the yellow shock underneath. Those are old man emu shocks. Uh, the hitch is kind of cool. It's uh, it's a little in rough shape, but um, it's got really awesome clearance. Um, this, the factory uh, hitches that you see on the Forerunners, typically they stick down at least two inches past that. And so I've loved that thing. I've, I've bonked it a few times, but, uh, but of course it's super sturdy. Uh, and I pull with it occasionally. Um, let's see, coming around, you can get another shot of the, uh, the safari snorkel on there. Um, I like the way that this looks. You know, my, my driveway is a little bit crooked, but I think with the bumper and the fender flares, I think it looks, uh, I really like the way it looks. Of course, I'm the one who built it. Now, um, it's got keyless, of course. Um, and then one, one feature that I really like about this is the remote start. Oh. So, um, we won't have that noise going. But on the inside, we've got, you can see the, the white boost gauge on the pillar. Um, I actually, I've got wet Acoli seats that I put on a couple of years ago. I, I cleaned this driver's side here. I need to clean the other side. I just want to see how it's going or how easy it is to clean. In the center console, I put the, uh, the air fuel gauge down there. Now, my little boy was sitting in here, so he's got everything turned on here. Everything turned on. Uh, and then it's the Bluetooth, um, let's see, the Sony oh, BT2600 or something like that, but it's a Bluetooth stereo. Um, on this side, I've got the Devil's Own uh, water meth injection controller here, so it's got uh, controls for on and off as far as the boost goes. Uh, let's go look at the engine compartment really quick. All right, so you see the uh, the crown jewel, of course, is that uh, that red pulley on there. Uh, I guess I put a supercharger on it about a year ago, uh, brand new uh, from TRD Parts for you. Um, you can see the Devil's Own pump back there, and then uh, brand new Die Hard uh, Platinum battery. I just I put that in like a month ago, 